Hello and welcome to Woodland Sticks Part 3. In this video we'll be making an antler thumbstick. So we start off with our antler. Um, we can cap these tines off. They look a lot better when they're capped off. So you need to get that tine really flat, as flat as you can get it. Then with all your waste bits of horn or wood or whatever else you like, you can glue that on with a two part epoxy resin straight onto the tops. Um, so it's basically any little old scrap of wood or horn or whatever else you've got, you can cap off. That's a nice piece of cow horn. Time it's all polished up, it'll come up really nice. Buffalo horn. And so just glue it straight on and file it down. When you've finished it, a bit of brasso or tea cut on a cloth and give it a good polish and you'll find it'll all come up like that so that's how we're going to start off today so we start off with our antler so we get the center part of the antler is all full of this marrow which is very soft inside here so there's not a lot you can do with it a lot of that is that's got to come out some people use a studded rod like that. They drill that into there and then fit it into the then drill a hole in a stick and fit them up. That is no good. That will wiggle and crumble and it'll just fall off. If not, the, the bolt itself will split out the side of the stick and then again you've wasted all your time. The easiest way is to drill that centre out. Now the way I do it is with a flat bit or a spade bit and you get loads of different sizes so you find one that's going to take the bulk of your your marrow out so that's going to take a bit too much so I'll go to that one so now I've just got to bore that out and looking for about an inch, inch and a half so we'll just do that Now I tend to hold mine, I know you shouldn't, but I don't want it going out of the side. So it's getting into the centre, and then I'll just gently drill down, letting the drill do the work, throw it in. I'm looking to go in about an inch to an inch and a half. So I should think that will do it. I'll test that for the depth. So that's plenty. You can get that out. That's plenty. So we've got a nice hole. The bulk of the pith has gone. That will go. That's all hard stuff. Right. So now we come to our stick. So now we come to the bit. We join it onto our stick. So that's going to fit on there nicely. So what we do is we measure the depth of our hole, like so and we mark it onto our stick there using a piece of masking tape we'll put a line of that from our mark right the way round nice and straight oops let's try again that's round we go nice and straight right so now we've got that that's going to be reduced down for our dowel now easiest way to do this we've got to keep an eye on the center of our dowel it's so easy to go off line with it so we put a little circle around there just using a washer any size washer will do as long as it's round about the size of your stick so when we start whittling down we're not going to go too far in we, and we can always see where our line is going to be and keeping that dead centre all the while so we just need to it's a very fine tooth saw and um, we'll just run a line following our tape around the, the stick so we don't want to go too deep it's just a matter of running that round. 
and then I like to put another one in the middle so I'm not taking too much off at a time you'll see it more once I actually start take a couple of turns around and that's basically it so now we have to reduce the timber down so this is going to go straight onto there so you need a nice little knife and slowly whittle it away mind your fingers but if you've got a little line you're only taking a little bit off at a time and it's, you can see how I'm keeping an eye on the mark so it's just a matter of whittling around as we go and we take down on the next bit and just flick them little bits away and that's all fairly easy going Right, so there's the start of our dowel. Now we've got to get it to go on to there. So once I've gone round and took two, two rows off, I'm keeping an eye on my centre all the while. Now I want to try and just round that off so I can see where my dowel is going to start. So try it again to fit. When it starts to go on, need just a little bit more and it will start to go on right so you can see what the pencil mark is doing let's keep me in the centre so this will start to go on once you start it going on give it a screw and what that's doing is that's going to mark your next step so we're here so now we just run that piece down to our bottom Mind your fingers, rub it down. And then we try it all again. On, give it a screwing. So it's nice and tight. And I say it's marking it all the while so we know where we've got to take off. And we just go along, we take all them little bits off just like that around and where the dirty bits is as well you can just shave them off because you don't want to screw it too tight because that will screw the wood and split it a bit so alright so now on we go alright so we're getting down now to our joint so that's the start of how we get to so now what we have to do is make sure we've got a good joint so the best way to do that is to hold it up to the light and look through and see where it's touching so I'm just going to mark it a bit where the wood is actually touching the antler so just run a bit round like that and that's the highway so I take it off again and I just trim some of that up Now, another thing is, I should have pointed out, is to put a mark between the two. So, clean a piece of antler up, like that, that's going to be our mark on the antler. Now we look down it and make sure everything is lying nicely in line. So, you can twist it about until you do get it to sit nicely. So when you're looking down it, everything is flowing nicely. So once we do that, we put a pencil mark on and that runs through. So every time I take it apart to tidy up that joint, it goes on in exactly the same 
position so we're not taking it off and moving it round with actually going back in the same position that way you haven't got to keep going backwards and backwards over your joint so I'll just trim some more of that away this is a finer bit of it so I always think if you get this right then you've uh, got a good stick I'll just clean up all the old saw cuts while I'm on it right so now we try it again lining up our joint pushing it on I don't know whether you can see but we're starting to come together now you'll see into that now we turn it around we've got a bit of a a gap here so we keep away from that anywhere that's touching is what has to come off so a gap here and a bit here so the rest of that from there has to come off take that away and we start just trimming it's only a thickness of a piece of paper but that makes all the difference for being a good joint to a bad joint uh, only taking tiny little bits off right so now we look at that again we put it on give it a screw now I think that's about right so there's your joint so now all we do is we glue it up to, when you're gluing up it, if you're not careful you get a piston effect you've got a good joint so the easiest way to overcome that effect is get your knife what we're going to do is just put a little notch in there so we draw it up there and we take a little notch out it's not going to make a lot of difference to the string and that will allow our surplus glue when we put it together to run out that will squeeze that out so I'll just mix up a little drop of glue the ideal stuff is two part epoxy resin so we're going to just mix some of that up that should be about enough This is quite a rapid one, it very quickly goes off, so I'll just mix it. Give it a good mix, this stuff, and make sure you've mixed the two parts nicely together. Right, so we put a bit on our dowel, make sure you get it into where you've cut round with your knife uh, work it all into your dowel I say making sure you get it all into that bit and then what I like to do is just put a little bit in and around inside your, your piece of antler and don't forget the outside piece right so move out of the way so now we go to put it together what we're looking for is our two marks we'll bring that back again that should start to push it all out so there's all our surplus glue is out our two marks are lined up clear off your surplus like so and that is your stick so now all we need to do is we'll got to let this go off and then we'll file that down so i'll come back in about another five minutes and we'll sort all that out i'll take that down and show you how it all fits into the stick so we'll be back in a few minutes all right so the glue is now dry so all we've got to do now is file this down so it fits nicely into the shank a good idea is a piece of split hose pipe, rubber hose, into your vise and that will stop any damage. So put it onto there, 
into your voice. That'll just stop it damaging. Now first of all I've got this big old rough cut file. It takes a lot off at a time so be careful and so you need sort of two or three different grades of file to help you with it. So I do prefer a, a big coarse one so we just take some of this edge away, keep your file on a bit of an angle because we don't want a file right up here, we just actually want to go where that the joint is. So keep an eye on your paper you don't want to do any damage to the bark. So take that down, move it round file again. And so you can see how this file is really shifting it off. catching the paper now and again it doesn't matter really but trying to look after that bark and that's the idea of just leaving your tape on until you've actually finished that just gives it a little bit more protection and nearly round once So that's the big one done. Uh, and then we come on to the, the other one. So this is a lot finer cut. So we can now afford to go down to the to the tape. So it'll actually start to remove a bit of tape as we go and round it. I don't know if you can see that happening. So we're just actually taking a bit of the tape away. That's telling me that I'm down far enough to the to the joint. So when you see the paper disappear, you're there. Okay, just keep twisting them. So keep your file on the move because you, you don't want any flat spots, you want it to actually stay round. And you can probably see the tape starting to come away now. for that. A little bit of sandpaper just to round it off. Again, just mind your bark. I don't want to damage the bark too much. You can see how nice our joint is coming up now. Nice smooth joint, a little bit of brasso wrapped around that, and uh, oops, that's your thumbstick done. <laughs>